welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenny and if you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fantastic yarning community. Hey, returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back and spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Wednesdays are typically Whip Wednesday, and I do have a whip to show you. Uh, but I also have a finished object and a yarn haul from Expression Fiber Arts. I'm so excited to show you what I got. Um, let's start today uh, by uh, yesterday was na you know National Granny Square Day. If I had known that, I would have got on yesterday. Um, but by the time I realized it, it was too late to put up a video. But that's okay. We're going to talk about granny squares today. Um, as many of you know, I am doing hashtag send me your granny squares. Um, I'm doing it because um, it, it's my way of getting more people involved in the Bogey Creek experience for the blanket drive. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with Bogey Creek, I have Lynette uh, at Charm Grammy Crochet. Uh, Billy the Crafty Floridan and Nancy at She's Got Yarn Too. Now Nancy's the the head of all this. Her and her mom, her mom's uh, women's group was looking for some donated blankets. Nancy and Lynette put their heads together and like, hey, we have a huge platform here. They brought Billy on board and let me tell you, it took off like gangbusters last year. And we're hoping this year that we can at least double that. Uh, we have a little more time this year. Um, and the, and the platform's a little bit bigger. Uh, Nancy's channel and, uh, Lynette's channel are growing exponentially. The base is getting bigger. So we're hoping to be able to do it, but I understand shipping is an issue. It's a huge issue. Um, so I thought, well, how could I help those who want to participate? And that's how I came up with send me your granny squares. I don't mind sewing them together. I hate making them, but I don't mind sewing them together. So my mailing address is listed in the description box below. Send me any four weight yarn, five by five granny squares that you have. And that, what I mean by any, I mean any. I've had a couple of people contact me wanting to know if I just wanted to do, I don't care. It can be the traditional granny square. It can be a solid granny square. It can be, you know, the 3D flower granny squares. Whatever you can make in a 5x5 five five granny square or already have made and didn't know what to do with, um, I'll I'll take them. I'll put them in a, in, a, in a blanket. These blankets are not going to be stylized in any way. They are going to be crazy quilt, crazy square blankets. There's not going to be any rhyme or reason for them. I'm literally going to reach into the bucket, pull one out, put a border on it, and start a strip. That's, it's, there's not going to be a method to the madness. They're just not. Um, and I think that's half the fun. These are going to be bonkers, crazy quilt type square blankets. So, um, if you have any questions regarding this at all, and I really, I, no question is too crazy. You can reach out to me on my email. You can reach out to me here in the comments. You can reach out to me on our Facebook page or on Instagram. You can find me on all of those. Um, and all of those are listed in the description box on how you can get a hold of me. So send me your granny squares. And, um, I, I, like I, I showed you on Monday, I got a few. I haven't gotten any recently, but I know that they're coming and I'm excited. Sam, Sam from Memphis Makes, she gave us a huge shout out yesterday and her warmths were so kind. Sam, hi, sweetie, I love you so much. Thank you for getting it out there and hopefully I will get a lot of squares because the more I have to put together, the more make blankets I can make and the more blankets we can get to the kids. So enough of that. Let's start with um, my 
finished object because I need to get this in the mail. Um, this is a, car a sweater that I made for my grandson and the pattern's name is Impish. I'll put the designer name here because it has escaped me right now. Um, it is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It is done in Tunisian. And let me tell you guys, this is so stinking cute. I love this little cardigan. Uh, it's just, it's so sweet. And look, the little button. So you put it over his head. You don't have to use the button. I just, it's so stinking cute. I'm, I'm contemplating changing this button for a darker one. I don't know. I have a black one. I might put the black one on. I'm now that I see the beige on it, I don't know if I like it as much as I did when I originally put it on, but, um, it's so cute and it's so soft. I used the yarn V must be Merino, um, in the color teal and there are 227 yards per skein. I used five plus this, and that was by even by making a third sleeve. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that first sleeve. It was just not right. It was like three times the size, but I was able to whip a, a third one up real quick and it matched. And yeah, I don't know what happened, but so it's, I've got a whole sleeve out there for another size, if I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a number three light. Um, it's merino, 50% merino wool, 25 acrylic, and 25 nylon. You guys, this yarn is fabulous. I am so sad they don't have it anymore. Why is it that you always find the really cool yarns when they discontinue them? Because this yarn is soft and springy and beautiful to work with. Like check out that stitch definition on this. It is just fantastic. It's, uh, it was a dream to work with. This is soft and squishy. I made the size six. Um, and I have to tell you, it's a little small ish for a six. I wish I had made an eight, but I think it's going to be okay. Carter's a little boy. He's just little. He's just starting kindergarten. But I, and I think it'll fit him fine. Um, I think I'm going to make him one for Christmas and make the next size up because I love this pattern. And it really, it really didn't take that long to make because you really just, you make two panels, you sew them together and you put on the sleeves and then you put on the, uh, the neckline. Um, if I have just one project to concentrate at at a time, I could probably whip this out in a week or so. So I don't know if I'm going to get it for this Christmas. We'll have to see. But I loved how this pattern worked out. And it's written in multiple sizes, I think from 12 months to 12 years. So it, it it's, it's a well worth, I think it was $4.99. I, I don't quote me on that. It wasn't that expensive for this really cute pattern. And I love this yarn so much. Oh, it is so beautiful. So anyway, that is the impish per, uh, sweater that I made for our grandson, Carter. My whips this week are, of course, all the blankets that I'm working on and I didn't bring those in to show you because you know how many times do you need to see another row of a blanket but I am working on my um the white version of the Haven Light cardigan that I'm using Kubu for I am finished with the body I just have to sew the seams together I have it all pinned and everything. So here's the body. We're ready to sew that together. I have one sleeve done and I have started 
sleeve number two. So we are still stuck out on Sleeve Island. Um, I am using Kubu, which is really one of my very favorite yarns. Uh, white is the color. It, this again, a number three light, 232, 232 yards, um, 50%, 51% cotton, 49 rayon from bamboo. I think this is just making this sweater spectacular. I really liked it in this, in this uh, alpaca blend, but this Kubu is making this fan freaking tastic. I have changed my mind about what I'm going to make my daughter-in-laws in. I have a bunch of the steel blue leftover. That's her turquoisey tealy color. She's getting one made out of this. So I'll have this finished by this afternoon because I literally have to finish this sleeve, sew the seam on the shoulders, and put the neckline on. And voila, it's done. These work up really, really fast. And they're very, very beginner friendly because there is such minimal seaming. And the sleeves are done in the round. So simple. It's a very easy... Um, one, two, three, four, five row repeat. You just repeat the same five rows over and over. And they're extended uh, half double crochets, extended double crochets, and puff stitches. So simple. If you can do a puff stitch and you can do an extended uh, half double and a half double uh, extended single double crochet, you can put this together in no time it is and her patterns the pattern is by cactus and lace designs ashley patterns are very well written it is free on her blog or you can buy the you know the ad free version on ravelry either way you can get a really really darling sweater out of this in it's just it's it's so simple <coughs> rephrase that it's not simple it's easy um and it is you make a beautiful garment and i am hooked on this pattern i can't wait to start the next one uh for my daughter-in-law so that i can get those in the mail by the end of the month but look how beautiful this is and there's no you know just the only seaming you're doing is really across the uh, across the shoulders on the top and sewing on the sleeves. Done. It's that simple. Now, it does have a lot of positive ease. So, and she has the measurements in the uh, pattern and on her blog. So look at that really co closely because 10 inches of positive ease makes for a very big cardigan. This is the large, but it's huge for a large. Um, so yeah, my, I'm going to be making one for my daughter-in-law and I'm going to be making probably, I'm, she normally wears a medium. I'm thinking I'm going to make the small because it is with 10 inches of positive ease, it makes for a huge oversized cardigan and that's okay. She tells you that in the pattern, it is definitely written to be an oversized cardigan. It, that's what this is intended to be. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for something that's more fitted, this probably isn't the pattern for you. But if you're looking for something slouchy and comfortable and just oversized, comfy, this is the cardigan for you. I, I'll also tell you that this is called, the version I'm doing is the Haven Light, written for a number three weight yarn. She has a version called the Haven Cardigan, written for a four weight. So you can adapt this if you want to do it in heavier. I'll bet you if you could figure out the math, if you're that kind of person, you could probably even do this like in a chunky weight, a five weight, and make it super scrunchy and comfy and oversized squishiness because this pattern is just really, really beautiful. So that 
is my work in progress for today. As I have all these strings hanging on me. So that I'm hoping I'll have that finished by Friday and another one started. So let's start with my little yarn haul. Now this, this is nothing big. Um, I got an email from Expression Fiber Art saying that they were having a sale um, on some of their yarn. And then I looked at it and I thought, no, I'm not going to, I don't need any more yarn. Then I watched Judy at Judy's Creations or Crochet and she bought some of this yarn. And then I watched Laura at Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming and then she bought some of this yarn. And I'm like, oh, I have this discount code that is going to expire. I've never bought from them before. And this really, really appealed to me. So I got two packages in from Expression Fiber Arts and they're both the same kind. I got this. I think this is a, did I get 10? I can't remember. Three, four, five, maybe I got six. And then I got And this is one, two, three, four, five in this color. And I just, this is the Expression Fiber Arts Restore Fingering. And this is the one where it's like they take all the scraps and make the beautiful yarn. This is 36 alpaca, 37 wool, and 27 viscose. 365 meters, 399 yards. It's a hundred gram hank. It says to use the crochet hooks from a B to a G. I hate that they do that. Is it? Okay. So it's a two to a four. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, the this gray color is called Beam, and it's just a really soft, taupey gray that is just very, very neutral, very, very pretty. This yarn is so soft and so squishy. I, It's just gorgeous. And then this color is called Dynamic. And it's a soft blue, silvery, silvery blue gray. It is just, just gorgeous, soft. Their colors are so gorgeous all the time. I just, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but they're going to be used for sure. I originally bought a sweater's quantity of the beam, the, the taupey gray. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't know if I want a cardigan or a pullover with this. And I don't, I, this color just said, please buy me. So it came home with me and I, I'm not sure what it's going to be when it grows up but it's going to be something because it's just too pretty to not be. This is not going to sit on my shelf long because this is, this is the exact kind of yarn that I was looking for to make a really nice cardigan, I think. Um, and I want to do at least one of these is going to be done in Tunisian because I love that knit look because I'm not comfortable enough with my knitting to actually knit. A sweater yet but if I did I I have plenty to to make a knit something out of I don't maybe I will try knitting with this because this yarn is just it's spun so beautifully it has a really nice sheen to it it's soft and gorgeous it's got a teeny tiny little halo and that's probably the alpaca in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
um, they had these on sale and I don't know if it's still on sale, but I want to say they were like $13 a hank, maybe something like that. Not expensive at all compared to what they, what their stuff normally is. So I am thrilled that I now have a little teeny tiny collection of Expression Fiber Arch yarn because it's gorgeous. And I can't wait to get started on doing something with all of the stuff that I've got. So, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I hope that you all have a fabulous Wednesday. That you are doing something that makes you happy. Um, get me your granny squares. Because, you know, the more I get, the more I can put together. Um, take care of yourself. Because you know the rules. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of the ones you love. But above all, be kind to everyone. We'll talk to you on Friday.